woman is suing a funeral home in Camden. She says they let her brother's body decompose before the funeral was set to happen. Eyewitness News New Jersey reporter Cleve Bryan has this story. He said, um, Penny, your, your brother has died. A phone call seared into Ashkia Pratt-Williams' yeah. mind. Her brother, John Pratt, who suffered from diabetes, had passed away. But it was the next call that's caused her great regret to the Carl Miller Funeral Home in Camden. Carl Miller buried everybody in my family, including my parents, my mom and my dad's side. So that's who I called. Pratt Williams says her instructions on the day of her brother's death, September 17th, were clear. She wanted her brother's body embalmed for an open casket funeral to take place 12 days later. We want to be able to say goodbye to family. Pratt Williams says several days after her brother died, the funeral home told her that there was a problem and that he would not be able to have an open casket funeral as the family wanted. His body started to decompose. According to a lawsuit filed this week in Camden County Superior Court, the funeral home left John Pratt's body inadequately embalmed and unrefrigerated in a garage for several days. The body was smelling and really um, bloated. Another funeral home took Pratt's body and cremated him. Family was not able to give him the send-off they wanted. He was my... People, I'm currently standing. And I know there's... It's a live video, so nobody's on right now, but this will be shared and shared again. I'm currently standing in front of Carl Miller in Camden, New Jersey. And let me give you, oh, you want to let me just give you a little rundown on what they put my, my cousin through. Show, 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 please show Penny right now. Monday, unfortunately, Penny's brother, my cousin, John Pratt passed away unexpectedly. Penny called and entrusted Carl Miller with my cousin's final everything. Let me tell you what Carl Miller has taken from our family. Monday, they picked John John up from his house where he passed away from a heart attack. Okay? They brought him here to this location, right here. They spoke to Penny. Penny said to embalm. They asked if she wanted to be embalmed because of religious beliefs. You can't just embalm in a body. We understand that. Penny gave clarity to a Tamika, to a Pam from Carl Miller to embalm John John. Carl Miller didn't do their job. Carl Miller Funeral Home dropped the ball with my cousin. Wednesday, Penny and myself and our other cousins sat here with Rashida Give me that paper. Where's that? Where's that yellow folder? Give me, give me everything. Give me everything. We sat with Rashida. That gave us this cheap, cheaply folder. Okay. Making a list of what has to be paid for family cars, three hundred and fifty each. Programs, three dollars each. You know how much money this? How much money that? Okay to realize that she wasn't telling us some pertinent information. They didn't embalm John John. And he'd been here since Monday. We're talking Wednesday now. Never said anything. Thursday, when my cousin Richie Clark calls to find out sizes for John John, they say there's a problem. What do you mean there's a problem, Carl Miller Funeral Home, Camden, New Jersey? What do you mean there's a problem? We are waiting for authorization for the family to, to give authorization to embalm the body. But you know what? You failed to realize you already had Penny's authorization to embalm him. You failed to realize you were already given that information. Monday. And then again on Tuesday. And Wednesday we sit in front of them and they don't even say anything. Wednesday we sat in front 
of Rashida for two hours. Two hours. And you know what she did? She never once mentioned, she never once mentioned that my cousin was not embalmed. Not once. Now, once did she mention that? They want to play, let's pass the buck. I don't know who dropped the ball. I don't know whose fault this is. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we were waiting for this. Oh, no. We did this. To add insult to injury? What does Pam tell Penny on the phone yesterday? My well, my brother died. died. Yep, my brother died. So My brother, brother died. died. So what that means, thank you, Pam. What did you just tell my cousin? What did you tell her? My brother died. Yours is less important than mine. So now, my cousin cannot see her brother for a last time. They have robbed her completely of her final goodbyes with her brother. And people hear me and hear me clear. If you come to Carl Miller, you're being ripped off. Everything is about money. They don't care nothing. They care nothing about you. Okay? They care nothing about you. It's about money. Stop giving them your money. Period, point blank. There are too many other funeral homes out here.